doing portraits is like um, a trip uh, to someone's soul, you know. I never thought I would do uh, portraits because I was it was it was too intimidating for me to think that I would screw up, you know, in somebody's face and not paint it right. Some faces talk to you more, or they have more definition or more. Um, interesting features and, and you're like okay that, that that's a fun one to paint but in reality and everybody's is fun to paint and everybody's beautiful my name is Anat Anat Ronan and uh, I'm an artist <laughs> from Israel. N neither of us, neither me or, or my husband has a degree. So we worked in, in jobs that were okay, but weren't interesting in any ways. We were 35 years old and we felt that it may be our last chance to try to change our lives in some way. We didn't know which way. We knew it, it, it has to be very far away from where we lived. In, back in Israel, it's very everything is very small. It's it's very hard to get out of where you you, you cornered yourself into. I was an office worker. Um, I worked in all kinds of offices, and it was very hard, if not impossible, to change that path. Just change that way, unless you really go to the other side of the world. You know what? We we don't have much to lose. Let's try to make it as far as possible from for where we come from. So it won't be easy for us to just um, give up and go back. And eventually after a year, we settled in Houston. And so I applied for a special visa, um, an artist visa or extraordinary ability visa. And I was granted that visa. And then started my career as a professional artist. I didn't do this for, for a long, long time. And I guess I blocked it in my mind for a while. My first experience when I was, I think 17 or 18, I went with a friend to a like um, <clears throat> little artist uh, village. The teacher there, you know, they told me that I, I paint very well, but remotely I remember that, you know, I knew that for a while, but somehow I didn't, find a way there and I think it was because I, I, I just wanted to fit in and not be that person that does that better. You know we were told by society that artists don't make a living and is just for ho a hobby and just for fun, but really don't think of it as something that you really can do. And that's, that was my assumption forever. You know, I didn't even think about actually making a living, you know, or trying to even make it a profession back in Israel because there is no way it's gonna work. 
here and there, I, I always did something artistic, but I never took it to the next level because I never thought I had it in me. And suddenly here, nobody cared where I came from or where I went to school or anything really but what I have to present and what I have to show. And if you can do good work, and if you're fair with people, and if you are professional about it, the sky is the limit. You saw me doing the grid in a very um, rough way, and it was so I can take a picture and see it uh, very well um, on the computer. And what I'm doing now is um, adding the image that I want to do, and then I actually have a roadmap of what to do where. My life in Israel was one life, and my life here is, is a total different one. And when I go back to visit, it's, it's like I have two worlds that merge, and, but they don't merge on a daily basis. They merge only when I travel. And so I'm like, I'm, I'm living this, these two worlds. And, and every time that you know, I go there, this world disappears and it's, it's like, it's a dream. And when I'm here, that world kind of disappears into the background and it's only a memory. So it's, it's very interesting, you know, that, that relationship that I have with, you know, my, my, my older life and, and my new life. It's, it's definitely makes me see things differently and, and more interestingly. I travel and I, I have lots of friends uh, that are amazing artists from all over the world. And, and really when, when we meet, it's all about sharing and all about learning from each other and all about supporting each other. I think the greatest uh, thing is when artists share, uh, share knowledge, share, share techniques, share you know, tips, share everything. Um, don't have nothing to hide because really um, in reality, I mean, you can come up with the biggest trick or shtick you have, but it's all in your brain and nobody can take what's in your brain. So even if you invented this technique or this gimmick, um, I mean, you're the one that will choose the designs and choose the compositions and nobody can take that away from you. So I think once you realize that and you lose that fear of people stealing from you or you know or, or taking your ideas away then a whole exciting world is 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 out there for you <laughs>
because it's like okay you have the pet it's great you, you love the pet i love my pets everything is great but i wouldn't go that far to paint them you know what i'm saying but now that she's gone suddenly i mean this is the closure that i need or this is like the, the we need to see her and to me the pet is mostly his face you know the eyes uh you know he looks at me i look at them you know so that's why I think that relationship, that close relationship, is what I'm, I'm looking for. For a long, long time, very long time, um, I used to do like something every day, even if, if I didn't have to, even if it wasn't work, um, like painting or drawing or something, because I felt that um, this, this thing that I have in me might go away. It's always there, that thought that, you know, at one point, maybe, you know, I won't be as lucky, you know, people won't want my work. And like, for example, when Harvey came, I really, you know, we really thought that there'll be a good, good few months that we won't find work because there's other things that are more important, obviously, than art. But it didn't happen. So we're like, you know, cruising along, there's always, stuff all over there, there's too many people so and that's that works for us because they want stuff and I'm, I'm very grateful for having uh, a meaning to my life because I, I never thought I had a meaning you know um, doing office work and, and just you know working in random usual jobs is just that you know you feel that you're just what, what's the point of this you know and now I do have a point and I don't, I don't know if it will have, you know, if it will end tomorrow or the next week or in 20 years or in 40 years, but it's, it's a great feeling to have that meaning, you know? That's it. More? <laughs>